I find gratitude by seeing that I came from nothing and I will return to nothing. Therefore, everything I have and can ever have is right here, right now. I don't need to go anywhere else or do anything else or be anything else in order to fully have everything I could possibly have right this moment. It helps me when I get stuck in these mental states where something in the past is preventing me from having gratitude right now or something in the future that might happen through fear and anxiety is preventing me from having gratitude right now. In a state of gratitude, I feel like everything is okay. Like life is peaceful and perfect and beautiful just the way it is. Nothing needs to change. Gratitude is a state of life that is just beautiful and perfect to live in. And yet it can be so easy to lose in the past or the future. The tool that consistently works for me is to look carefully at the past and look carefully at the future and to not focus on necessarily a specific point I remember, go back a little bit farther or go forward a little bit farther. When I go back past when I was born, I don't remember anything. Whatever theoretically I had before then or was doing before then, I remember nothing of it. In fact, I don't remember being born. I don't remember almost anything from the first few years of my life. In fact, that part of my past has already been erased to the point where I don't remember any of it. That is what's going to happen to every bit of my past. All of my past will be erased so that I don't remember any of it at some point. And I can know that by looking to the future. I can see that no matter what I do today, no matter how great anything is, or no matter what I think I can accomplish, at some point in the future, I won't even remember this moment. It will be as if it never existed at all. And now, sometimes just in theory, that doesn't do it for me too much in the sense of, well, okay, what does that matter? That's not what's going on now. When I look around at the things I have in my life that I'm so thankful for and precious and see that they have a very short, limited lifespan. For me, I did this last night in bed with my wife. I looked at her and I very clearly understood that there was a point in my past that I felt she was out there and didn't know where she was and I was not with her, that her form as she is was nowhere to be found. And again in the future, that will happen. That at some point, either she will pass away first or I will pass away first. And that one of us will have to deal with the other one leaving alive. And then we will both be gone. And at some point, we won't even remember our relationship. It will be as if it never existed at all. Completely gone and erased. And I know that because I don't remember anything that I've done even in the first few years of my life. So the things that are most precious, my daughter, she's just three, almost three months old now. Someday she'll be so completely erased it will be as if she never existed. And you might say, God, these are horrible things to think about. Why would you think about that? Because it shatters and rips all these mind patterns down. It rips all of this past and future down. It brings it all down and crashing down. Often it comes with a lot of pain doing that. I f this often makes me cry a lot because my mind doesn't want to look at that. It wants to look 10 minutes into the future. It wants to look an hour, a day, a year, a few years. It does not want to look at a time when it's gone, when it's as if it never existed at all because it wants to live. My mind wants to live and it doesn't like thinking about things like this. And yet, if I want some peace and gratitude and serenity, it helps to look at because those things are very real and certain. Death in the form of this body dying is very real and very certain. Life is completely fair. Everyone and everything starts from nothing, goes back to nothing. And several of the religions 
that are most popular in the world have teachings that point exactly at that, that you should think about the nature of life coming and going. And that really behind the nature of life and death, there is eternal life. That right now, right this moment, you are fully alive. You have everything you could ever want and need. And you go throughout all of eternity in this one moment. And yet the moment changes. What you have now, someday you won't even remember having it. And that helps me have gratitude. It helps me to honor the form things are taking right now. When my dogs are barking and I could easily, my mind would get aggravated and say, those dogs, they shouldn't be barking. It helps me to know that those dogs will be gone someday. And someday I will miss those dogs. And someday I would love to go back into a moment where those dogs existed and I wouldn't care if those dogs were barking or what they were doing. I would just be happy to be there. And someday in the past, I was hoping I had a dog someday. I was hoping I'd be a good patient dog owner someday. And here I am now. I know when I was 15, I was desperate to have a girlfriend. I know when I was six years old in first grade, I was desperate to know where my wife was and what she was doing. And I have that right now. And at the same time, there are things that were existed in my life before I don't have. And confronting, looking at that and dealing with it is how I got into a place where I can have gratitude. My dad passed away last year. And there were so many days I did not appreciate when dad was around. So many days where I didn't even give dad a call. I didn't even think about dad hardly at all. And now dad's body is gone. And yet dad, the thing that I loved most about him, the love he had for me is fully, 100% fully alive, just as much as it ever was in my heart. And the same thing with everyone and everything else I love. Looking at the nature of things coming and going, encouraging me to do things like love and have patience with me. Because last night, when I was in the depth of gratitude and it produced a lot of tears seeing the reality of things. The more of a true reality, it's not all these little mental mind games, it's, it's facts like you get to go through your loved ones dying or one way or another. In the middle of that, I could see that I don't want to waste a moment of time I have with my wife and my daughter. I don't want to waste one moment being pissed off at whatever they've done in the past or anxious or upset at what they might do in the future. I don't want to waste one moment judging them or being harsh on them because we have very few moments together. And those moments should all be honored and loved as if from a point where they were gone and now I'm back here having the chance to experience them again. Time travel is real. You just have to do it the opposite of how you think of it. Most time travel is based on the idea that now's not good enough and we want to go somewhere in the past or the future. It's the opposite. Now is perfect. Bring your spirit from the past and the future into now and you will find you have everything in life to be grateful for. No matter what's happened, there are beautiful things. Even when your loved ones have passed on, Dad passing on has been one of the best things that's happened to me in my life. It's forced me to look at that empty space where Dad used to be and see that life is beautiful and fully here right now. And to honor what you have right now. That empty spot in the phone book where it used to say Mom and Dad, now it says Kathy just for my mom. To honor that, thank God my mom's alive right now and I can send my mom a video like I did this morning of my daughter. I can give my mom a call later. And I can respond to her messages with the understanding that thank God she's alive. I pray today that I remember there's nothing for me in the past and nothing for me in the future. I pray that I remember I have full wonderful gratitude right now, right this moment, and everything I could ever hope to possibly have is right here, right now. 
I pray that you have the same chance today to find the gratitude for being alive and seeing that you have everything you could possibly ever have already right now in this moment. And there's nothing you can get that won't go away. There's nothing you've gotten in the past that won't fade away in time. So all you can do is honor and love and cherish how things are right now and hold on for the ride. Thank you for watching this or listening to it, and I hope you have a great day today.